Hello guys, good morning. Hi Jessica, how are you? Nice to have you as always. Fine, thank you. Okay guys, I hope you are all doing good today. Um, for today's class, we're going to study how to describe someone else's physical appearance. So we are going to learn some adjectives and remember some others that we already know. Hi, Juan Pablo. Hello, Diego. So let me share my screen and then we begin. So we use the adjectives that we are going to see in the slides to describe someone else's appearance, someone else's physical appearance. So we need to take into account his or her um, features. So you already know some parts of the body here, some parts of the face, the eyes, the ears face, lips, nose, and hair. Those are the most common features that we use to describe. So we need to take into account um, some uh, characteristics, for example, the height. So we can say that somebody is tall, short, or medium height. Podemos decir que alguien es alto, es bajo, o que es de estatura media, medium height. Regarding to the build, we can say that somebody is slim, um, skinny, plump, fat, well built. La contextura de build, podemos decir que alguien es delgado, que es flaco, thin, que alguien es gordito, que alguien es skinny, skinny, para referirse a que alguien es delgado podemos decir slim, thin, o podemos decir... Uh, Skinny. Si decimos que alguien es skinny, estamos diciendo que es muy, muy flaco, que no tiene gracia. Entonces, si, si utilizamos skinny, estamos siendo despectivos al hablar de alguien. Y si decimos well built, estamos diciendo que alguien tiene una buena contextura, que se ve bien. Y bueno, decimos fat para decir que alguien es gordo y plump, también para decir que alguien es gordo, pero es muy despectivo también, que alguien es rechuchito. Muy bien. For the age, very easy, we can say young, elderly, middle-aged, teenager, joven, viejo, de mediana edad, middle-aged, Uh, teenager, adolescente, y podemos decir que alguien está en sus 20 en sus 30 in his or her 20s, 30s, 40s. Regarding our face, we can say round, oval, square, with scars, wrinkles, freckles, suntanned, pale. Round, um, round, um, que es redondito, oval. Square, que tiene la cara más o menos cuadrada. Scars, uh, con cicatrices, with scars. Wrinkles. <coughs> Wrinkles es arruga. Uh, Suntanned, que es bronceadito o bronceadita. Y pale, que es pálido. Para nuestros ojos decimos entonces big round, grandes y redondos. El color, blue, green, you know the colors. 
Large, que recordemos que significa grande. Bright, brillante. Y narrow, que es pequeñitos. Narrow. Para nuestro cabello decimos bald, eh, calvo. Straight, que el cabello es lacio, es si es lacio, que no es crespo. Curly, cuando el cabello es, es muy crespito. Spiky, mmm, cuando el cabello es alborotadito, es puntiagudo. Y wavy, cuando es crespo, pero no tanto, cuando es más bien ondulado, wavy. Y cuando queremos preguntar cómo luce a alguien, formulamos entonces la pregunta, what does he or she look like? Recordemos que el what like significa cómo. What does he look like? Or what, what is he like? What is she like? Estamos preguntando por las características físicas de alguien o las características de la personalidad. Si digo... What is he or she like? Entonces, la pregunta de arriba es ¿cómo luce? Y la que tenemos abajo es ¿cómo, cómo es? What does he or she look like? What is he or she like? Yeah. So again, we have tall and short regarding our height. For our build, we have thin, slim, and fat, heavy, overweight. Heavy and overweight significa pesado y con sobrepeso. Well built, de buen cuerpo, de buena contextura, well built. For our eyes, we mention our color, brown, brown eyes, brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. And for our hair, straight long black hair. Aquí tenemos cabello largo, eh, lacio y negro. Wavy, wavy medium length black hair. Cabello ondulado, largo. De, de más o menos largo y negro. Y curly, que es muy crespo. Medium length, de nuevo. De, más o menos, no es tan corto, no es tan largo. Yeah, it is black. Again, wavy, ondulado. Wavy, long, blonde hair. Blonde, uh, mono. Straight, long, blonde hair. Cabello lacio y largo. Straight, long. And blonde hair. Straight, long, red hair. Wavy long red hair. Miremos que cuando vamos a uh, describir a alguien, el orden de esa descripción sigue cierto patrón. Siempre debo mencionar si es largo, si es crespo, si es, si es ondulado. Luego menciono si es largo o si es corto. Y luego menciono qué color tiene. Siempre debe ir ese orden, siempre debe ser ese orden. Entonces, primero, wavy or curly, ondulado o lacio o crespo. Luego digo long or short, largo o corto. Y luego digo el color, blonde or red or brown. Straight long brown hair. And straight short brown hair. For example, she has a straight blonde hair. Ella tiene el cabello lacio y lo tiene mono. He's bald, él es calvo. He has a mustache, un bozo, mustache. And a bird, a bird is la barba, the bird. 
She's short, but she's very tall. He's old, but he's young. He's overweight or fat or heavy. And he's thin or slim. She has a straight long red hair. Sorry for the pictures. She has a straight long brown hair. She has curly medium length black hair. He has spiky short brown hair. Bueno, um, cuando hablamos de nuestras características, de nuestros, de las cosas que tenemos, decimos have. Yo tengo el cabello largo, yo tengo el cabello corto. Mientras que uh, si vamos a hablar de yo soy gordo, yo soy flaco, decimos I am y no I have. La palabra hazel, ella dice I have hazel eyes. Hazel is como color miel, hazel eyes. So she says, I am medium height, I have hazel eyes, I have medium length straight brown hair, I wear glasses, yo me pongo gafas, I am slightly overweight, estoy casi que, tengo casi que sobrepeso, I have a pale complexion, tengo una complexión pálida. Entonces, utilizamos um, para describir la, la, qué tan largo es nuestro cabello, si es largo o si es corto, el tipo de cabello, si es crespo, si es ondulado, el color, decimos brown, uh, castaño o café, blonde, mono, y el color, sea de nuestro cabello o de nuestros ojos. Y bueno, describimos nuestro cabello o nuestros ojos o, 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 nuestra, o nuestro cuerpo. Si es fit, si es overweight, fat or thin. Good. Here we have some people and the question is, what do they look, look like? Como lucen ellos? Arnold, for example, he is tall and well built. He has green eyes and short brown hair. He is in his 50s. Danny, he is short and heavy. He is going bald, es está quedando calvo, and has brown eyes. He is in his 50s too. Marcelo is medium height and average weight, average promedio de peso promedio. He has short black hair and brown eyes and he is in his 30s. Él está en sus 30. Nicole, she is very tall and slim. She has long curly red hair and blue eyes. She has pale skin, la piel, pale skin, la piel pale. And she is in her 30s. He's tall and slim. He has short, spiky, blonde hair and blue eyes. Recordemos que spiky significa puntudito, el pelo puntudo. He has pale complexion and he's in his 40s. Muy bien. Bueno, aquí tenemos un diálogo en el que se habla de las características de estas personas, de seis personas. Entonces vamos a escuchar a el diálogo primero eh, tenemos a dos personas que están mirando una foto entonces Ben empieza preguntándole can I look at your photos puedo mirar tus fotos and Sue says ok I've got some pictures of Natasha's party tengo algunas um, pictures, algunas imágenes de la fiesta de Natasha Who's the tall boy in the hat? ¿Quién es el chico alto que tiene el sombrero in the hat? That's Tom. Ese es Tom. Who's he ascending next to? ¿Al lado de quién está él? Can I see? ¿Puedo ver? Oh, the girl with long hair is Penny. 
la chica con el cabello largo es Penny. And who's the, the girl on the other side of him? ¿Quién es la chica que está al otro lado de él? The, the one with her eyes shut. La que tiene los, los ojos cerrados. Yes, that's Pippa. Who's the other boy in the photo? ¿Quién es el otro chico en la foto? His name's Kim. Su nombre es Kim. He is Pippa's boyfriend. Él es el, él es el novio de Pippa. De Pippa. Who's the person in front of Tom? ¿Quién es la persona en frente de Tom? ¿Es el Natasha? No, Natasha doesn't wear glasses. Natasha no usa gafas. That's Angela. And the girl sitting next to Angela, who's she? ¿Quién es ella? She's wearing a t-shirt with a heart on it. Ella tiene una, una blusa, una camiseta con un corazón en ella. Oh, that's Gabby. Esa es Gabby. Entonces tenemos a seis personas. Tenemos a Tom en la foto, a Penny, a Pippa, a Angela y tenemos a Gabby. Entonces vamos a escuchar el audio. ¿Qué me va a decir? Five photos. Can I look at your photos? Okay. I've got some pictures of Natasha's party. Who's the tall boy in the hat? That's Tom. Who's he standing next to? Can I see? Oh, the girl with long hair is Penny. Who's the girl on the other side of him? The one with her eyes shut. Yes. That's Pippa. Who's the other boy in the photo? His name's Kim. He's Pippa's boyfriend. Who's the person in front of Tom? Is it Natasha? No, Natasha doesn't wear glasses. That's Angela. And the girl sitting next to Angela. Who's she? She's wearing a t-shirt with a heart on it. Oh, that's Gabby. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a mirar la imagen. Y vamos a escuchar de nuevo. Entonces, les recuerdo que tenemos a Tom, a Penny, a Pippa, a Kim, I forgot it, and we have Angela and Gabby. We have six people, tenemos a seis personas. Bueno, vamos a mirar entonces, vamos a escuchar de nuevo y vamos a recordar cuál es la número uno. Let's listen again. Five photos. Can I look at your photos? Okay. I've got some pictures of Natasha's party. Who's the tall boy in the hat? Who is the tall boy in the hat? ¿Quién es el hombre alto con el con el sombrero con el con la gorra? Who is the tall boy in the hat? Él es. Escuchemos. He is. That's Tom. That. Who's that? ¿Quién es ese? That is Tom. Yeah, very good. That is Tom. Ese es Tom. That is Tom. Number one is Tom. Let's listen to number two. Who's he standing next to? Can I see? Al lado de quién está él? Who is he standing next to? Puedo ver, can I see? Oh, the girl with long hair is Penny. Oh, the girl with long hair is Penny. The girl with long hair is Penny. So number one in this case is Penny, that's right. Ella es Penny, muy bien. Let's listen to number three. Who's the girl on the other side of him? The one with her...
Her eyes shut. Yes. Who is the girl on the other side of him? ¿Quién es la chica que está al otro lado de él? Oh, the girl with the eyes shut. La chica con los ojos cerrados. That is? That's Pippa. That is who's that? ¿Quién es who's that? Sí, Aleja, muy bien. That's Pippa. Muy bien, excelente, Jessica. Yes, very good. Who's the other boy in the photo? His name's Kim. Who is the other boy in the photo? ¿Quién es el otro chico en la foto? Who is the other boy? His Kim. Yes, muy bien. Muy bien, Alejandro. His Kim. He's Pippa's boyfriend. Who's the person in front of Tom? Is it Natasha? Who is the person in front of Tom? Is that Natasha? Is this a Natasha? No, Natasha doesn't wear glasses. No, Natasha doesn't wear glasses. Esa no se pone gafas. That's Angela. That's, who's that? That's Angela, yes. Yes, very good. Muy bien, That's Angela. Esa es Angela. That's Angela. And the girl sitting next to Angela. And the girl sitting next to Angela. Y la chica que está al lado de Angela. Who's she? She's wearing a t-shirt with a heart on it. Oh, that's Gabby. She's wearing a t-shirt with a heart on it. Ella tiene una camiseta con un corazón en él. That is Gabby, yes. Hi, Diana. Don't worry. It's okay. How are you? Okay, well, let's continue to practice. Muy bien, bueno, aquí tenemos entonces a Dialogue. Y uh, en ese diálogo tenemos a dos personas. Tenemos The Shop Assistant, la persona que vende The Shop Assistant. Y tenemos a Mark. Mark is buying. Él es el que está comprando. Aquí tenemos varias preguntas. What's your size? ¿Cuál es tu... ¿Cuál es tu talla? Yes, sure, here you are. Por supuesto que sí, seguro. Aquí están. Can I try them on, please? ¿Las puedo probar? Can I try them on, por favor? ¿Cuántos son? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much are they? Can I help you? ¿Te puedo ayudar? Yes, I do. But do you have them in black? Sí, yes, I do. ¿Pero los tienes en, en negro? Do you have... Do you like this blue pair? ¿Te gusta este par azul? Entonces lo único que vamos a hacer es escuchar el diálogo y decir quién dice cada una de las preguntas. Si es either the shop assistant or Mark. Vamos a escuchar una primera vez y luego hacemos el ejemplo. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Can, Can I, I help, help you? you? Yes, yes please. please. I'd, I'd like to buy, to buy a pair of jeans. jeans. What's, What's your, your size? size? Medium, Medium, please. Do you, do you like, like this blue, blue pair? pair? Yes, yes, I do. Do you do have them in black? black? Yes, yes, sure. Here, Here you are. are. Can, Can I try, try them on, please? please? Of, of course. course. The, changing the changing rooms are on, on the left. left. I like I them very much. much. How, How much, much are, are they? they? They're 45 pounds. pounds. I'll take them. Mark empieza a greeting. Él empieza diciendo, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes. Can I help you? Please. I'd like to buy a pair of jeans. Me 
me gustaría comprar un par de jeans. I like to buy a pair of jeans. ¿Todos están escuchando bien, sí? ¿O se escucha muy bajito? Ah, bueno, voy a quitar entonces el, mi micrófono. Ok, bueno. Es por mi micrófono que se escucha el, el eco. Vamos a escuchar entonces de nuevo. What's your size? Medium, please. Do you like this blue pair? Yes, I do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like to buy a pair of jeans. What's your size? Medium, please. Do you like this blue pair? Yes, I do. Do you have them in black? Yes, sure. Here you are. Can I try them on, please? Of course. The changing rooms are on the left. I like them very much. How much are they? They're 45 pounds. I'll take them. Muy bien, bueno. Entonces, ahora sí vamos a identificar cada una de las frases. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? ¿Te puedo ayudar? Can I help you? ¿Cuál fue la frase que, que mencionó the shop assistant? Number one, number seven, number three, number five. Can I help you? Yes, five. Muy bien. So, number five was the shop assistant. Let's listen. Yes, please. I'd like to buy a pair of jeans. What's your size? I'd like to buy a pair of jeans. What's your size? What question was it? Number two, number one, number six. Number one. Yes, muy bien, Alejandro. Yes, are very, very good. Medium, please. Do you like this blue pair? Yes, I do. Do you have them in black? ¿Te gusta este par azul? Yes, I do. Do you have them? Do you have them? In black. So, primero tenemos, do you like this blue pair? ¿Te gusta este par? Muy bien, number seven. ¿Te gusta este par azules? ¿Y quién lo dijo? The shop assistant or Mark. Who said that? Yes, the shop assistant. So do you have, do you like this blue pair? ¿Te gustan? Estos azules. Y él le responde, yes, I do. But do you have them in black? So this one was number six. Yes, very good. Y it was Mark, the one who said that. Por supuesto que sí, sí. ¿Los tienes en negro? Yes, yes sure. sure. Here, Here you are. are. Yes, sure. Here you are. Sí, seguro. Aquí los tienes. Here you are. That one was muy bien, Diana. Good. Number two. And it was the shop assistant. Very good. Can I try them on, please? ¿Me los puedo probar? Can I try them on? Can I try them on? Yes, number three, very good. ¿Y quién lo dijo? Who said that? The shop assistant of Mark. Number one, 
Yes, Mark. Can I try them on? ¿Me los puedo probar, por favor? Of course, the changing rooms are on the left. Y ella le dice, por supuesto, of course, the changing rooms are on the left. Las donde se cambian, donde los vestieres están a la izquierda, on the left. I like them very much. How much are they? I like them very much. How much are they? How much are they? Muy bien, GP. Number four. ¿Cuánto cuestan? How much are they? And it was Mark. Muy bien. And that's it. Esas son todas. They're 45 pounds. ¿Cuánto cuestan? How much are they? La voy a repetir. They're 45 pounds. How much? ¿Cuánto es? How much are they? They're 45 pounds. They are 45 pounds. They are 45 pounds. ¿Cuestan? Sí, muy bien. 45 libras, pounds. 45 pounds. Ok, let's continue. Y finalmente él dice, I'll take them. them. Los llevaré. I'll take them. Muy bien. We're going to listen again and choose the right option. Vamos a escuchar de nuevo y vamos a seleccionar la opción correcta. Entonces, la primera dice, Mark wants to buy, Mark quiere comprar una camiseta, a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, un par de jeans, o un par de, de medios, a pair of socks. Su talla es, his size is small, pequeña, big, or medium. He prefers the, él prefiere los azules, los negros, o los uh, los jeans que son marrones cafés. He pays 55, 45, or 15 pounds. Él paga 55, 45, o 15 libras. Y finalmente, the changing rooms, la, los vestidores de changing rooms, están on the left, a la izquierda, or on the right, a la derecha. So, let's listen again. Escuchamos de nuevo. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like to buy a pair of jeans. Yes, please. I want to buy a pair of jeans. So, what does he want to buy? Mike wants to buy a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, or a pair of socks. ¿Qué quiere comprar él? Muy bien, Diana. He wants to buy a pair of jeans. Yes. Excellent. Su talla es, his size is, cuando ella le pregunta, what's your size? Escuchamos que le responde. What's your size? Medium, please. Medium, please. Your size. Medium, please. What is his size? Is it small? Big, medium, yes, it is medium, muy bien. Vamos a ver cuáles prefiere él. ¿Qué jeans prefiere? Do you, Do you like, like this blue pair? Yep. Yeah. ¿Te gustan? ¿Te gustan this blue pair? Please. Do you, Do you like, like this, this blue pair? Yes, yes, I do. Do, Do you, you have, have them, them in black? black? Yes. Y él dice, ¿Do you have them in... Los tienen. Yes, I, yes do. I do. Do you have them in black? black? So what does he prefer? Blue, black, or brown? Do you have them in black? Yes, very good. Los tienen negro. Do you have them in black? So he prefers the black pair of jeans. 
How much does he pay? ¿Cuánto paga él? Escuchamos de nuevo. Yes, sure. Here you are. Can I show them on, please? Of course. The changing rooms are on the left. I like, I like them, them very, very much. much. How, How much, much are, are they? they? How much are they? Me gustan mucho. I like them very much. They're, They're 45, 45 pounds. pounds. Again, de nuevo. They're 45 pounds. So, how much are they? Again, 45 pounds. Muy bien, Jason. Cuesta 45 pounds, 45 libras. Y vamos a ver entonces ahora dónde están the changing rooms. Si están a la izquierda. O si están a la derecha, on the left, a la izquierda, or on the right. Let's listen. Of course, the changing rooms are on the left. Of course. Of course, the changing rooms are on the left. Where are the changing rooms? They are on the left. Muy bien. Están a la izquierda, on the left. Muy bien. Aquí tenemos three people. Tenemos Anne, Caroline y Anne Carol. Dependiendo del de orden en el que las menciones, el orden en el que las escriban, vamos a poner los nombres en los espacios. One, two, and three. So, let's listen. Vamos a escucharlo completo y, y luego hacemos el ejemplo. Hello, Anne. How are you? Hi, Sylvia. I'm fine, thanks. It's so nice to see you. Wow, that picture in your Instagram profile is really cool. Who are the other girls? They are my best friends. Oh, I had no idea. What are their names? Well, this is Karen. She is so tall and elegant. I really love her blue eyes and her long blonde straight hair. Karen and I like the same things. She likes skirts and I like skirts too. And this one on the left, what's her name? That's Caroline. She is tall and thin. Her eyes are brown. Her face is oval and she has got long brown hair. She doesn't like skirts. She prefers jeans. And this is you, standing on the right. You look very happy. Muy bien. Ahora sí, let's listen. Hello, Hello Anne. Anne. How, are, How you? are you? Hi, Hi Sylvia. Sylvia. I'm fine, thanks. It's, It's so, so nice, nice to see you. Wow, that, that picture, picture in your Instagram, Instagram, profile, Instagram profile, is profile is really cool. cool. Wow, that picture on your Instagram profile is really cool. Esa imagen en tu pro profile, en tu perfil de Instagram, es muy, muy cool. Who are the other girls? ¿Quiénes son las otras chicas? Who are the other girls? They are my best friends. Oh, oh I had I no, no idea. idea. What, What are their names? Name? Ellas son mis mejores amigas. They are my best friends. Oh, I had no idea. No tenía idea. ¿Cuáles son su, sus nombres? Oh. Well, well, this, this is, is Karen. Karen. She, She is, is so, so tall and, and elegant. elegant. I really, I really love, love her, her blue eyes, eyes and her long, long blonde, blonde straight, straight hair. hair. Karen, Karen and I, I like, like the same, same things. things. Karen and I like the same things. A nosotros nos gusta a Karen y a mí las mismas cosas. She, She likes, likes skirts and I like skirts too. too. And, and this, this one, one on the left. left. Ah, ya le gustan las faldas y a mí también. She likes the skirts and I like skirts too. What's her, What's her name? name? That's, That's Caroline. Caroline. What's, What's her, her name? name? Long, Long blonde, blonde, straight, straight hair. hair. Karen, Karen and I, I like, like the same things. things. She, She likes skirts, skirts and, and I like skirts, skirts too. And this, and this one, one on, on the, the left. left. And this one on the left. La que está a la izquierda. What's, What's her, her name? name? That's, That's Caroline. Caroline. That's Caroline, the one on the left. La que está a la izquierda. That's Caroline. She is She's tall, tall and thin. Ella es. ¿Cómo es ella? What is she like? 
Escuchemos, ¿cómo es ella? Her name. That's Caroline. She's, She's tall, tall and thin. thin. She's tall and thin. Ella es alta y es delgada. She's tall and thin. Her, Her eyes, eyes are brown. brown. Her, Her face, face is oval, oval and, and she, she has, has got, got long, long brown, brown hair. hair. She, she doesn't, doesn't like skirts. skirts. She, she prefers, prefers jeans. jeans. And this, and this is, is you, you standing, standing on the, on the right. right. You look yeah, very happy. happy. And this is you standing on the right. Yes, that is tú, a la derecha. Luces muy feliz. You look very happy. Entonces a la izquierda tenemos a Caroline, la que está a la, a la izquierda. Escuchemos. That picture on your Instagram post, friends. Oh, I had no idea. What are, What their, are their names? names? Well, well, this is Karen. Karen. She, she is, is so, so tall, tall and elegant. elegant. I really, I really love, love her blue eyes and her long blonde, blonde straight hair. hair. Karen, Karen and I, and I like, like the same things. things. She, she likes skirts, skirts and, and I like skirts, skirts too. too. And, and this, this one, one on the left, left. What's, what's her, her name? name? That's, That's Caroline. Caroline. La que está on the left, la que está a la izquierda. That's on the left. Like skirts too. And this, and this one, one on the left, left. What's, what's her, her name? name? That's, That's Caroline. Caroline. That's Caroline. La que está on the left. La que está a la izquierda. Karen and I, I like, like the same, same things. things. She, She likes, likes skirts, skirts and, and I, I like, like skirts, skirts too. too. And this, and this one, one on the left. left. What's, what's her, her name? name? That's, That's Caroline. Caroline. She's, She's tall, tall and thin. thin. Her, Her eyes are brown. brown. Her, Her face, face is oval, oval and, and she, she has, has got, got long brown, brown hair. hair. She, doesn't she doesn't like, like skirts. skirts. She, she prefers, prefers jeans. jeans. And, this, and this, this is you, standing, standing on the right. right. You look yeah, very happy. happy. And this is you, standing on the right. Yes, that is you, parada a la derecha. Yeah, you is I. Y ellos empezaron hablando de Karen. What are their names? Well, well, this, this is, is Karen. Karen. She, She is, is so, so tall and elegant. Ella es alta y es elegante. A ella le gustan las faldas. I really love her blue eyes and her long, long blonde, blonde, straight, straight hair. Karen. And Karen is number two. Está muy bien decir Karen, Caroline y sí, excelente, muy bien, Jessica. Porque ese fue el orden en el que las mencionaron. Muy bien, excelente, Álvaro. Muy bien. Bueno, vamos a continuar con otra actividad. Muy bien. Bueno, aquí tenemos... The, some descriptions of some people and we have different options for that description so number one says she has long straight gray hair she has blue eyes ella tiene el cabello largo lacio gris y tiene ojos azules so who is she Is she A, B, or C? Yes, it is C. Ella tiene el cabello largo, lacio y gris. She has short, curly, brown hair. She has brown eyes. Ella tiene el cabello corto, ondulado, mmm, café. Y tiene ojos cafés. That is B, yes. Muy bien. Very good. 
She has long, wavy, blonde hair. She has green eyes. Ella tiene el cabello largo, ondulado, mono, y ella tiene los ojos verdes. Hey, yes. Way to go. He has short, straight, blonde hair. He has brown eyes. He has a mustache. Who is he? Él tiene el cabello corto, lacio y mono. Él tiene los ojos cafés y tiene a mustache. Hey, yes, that is it. Pues no, se, no se le ve mucho el, el mustache. Okay. She has short, wavy, dark hair. She has black eyes. Ella tiene el cabello corto, ondulado, oscuro. Y ella tiene ojos negros. D, yes. He has short, wavy, gray hair. Ella tiene el pie en el cabello corto, uh, ondulado, gray hair, gris. He has a bird. Él tiene a bird, una barba. Y tiene ojos verdes. He has green eyes. So who is he? Sí, yes, he has a bird. Very good. And that's it. She has short, straight brown hair. She has brown eyes. Who is he? Es corto, es lacio, muy bien. Es café. Y tiene ojos cafés también. He has brown eyes. That is it. Pretty good. He's bald. He has brown eyes. And he has a mustache. Él es calvo. Él tiene ojos cafés. Él tiene a mustache. Él tiene un bigote. Sí. That's right. That is it. And we finished. Okay, so how do you describe yourself? ¿Cómo te describes tú a ti mismo? What are you like? ¿Cómo eres tú? Do you have short, wavy hair? Is it brown? Are you blonde? ¿Cómo te describes a ti mismo? Aquí tenemos another description. Aquí tenemos otra descripción. Vamos a leerlos con el script. Vamos a escuchar la descripción. Y si alcanzamos a salir. Es esa tu hermana, la chica que está por allá. The girl over there. Yes, that's my sister Catherine. How did you know? ¿Cómo lo supiste? How did you know? Ustedes dos son similares. You look similar. ¿Tú crees? Do you think so? Yes. I mean, obviously you have different hair. Hers is blonde. Yours is brown. Sí, quiero decir, obviamente ustedes tienen diferente cabello. El suyo es mono. El tuyo es café. And Catherine's isn't curly like mine. Y el de Catherine no es um, crespo como el mío. No, but your faces are the same, pero sus caras son las mismas. 
No lo creo. I don't think so. Her eyes are a different color to mine. Sus ojos tienen un color diferente al mío. Los suyos son azules. Los míos son green, son verdes. I am not talking about eye color. No estoy hablando del, del color de los ojos. I mean, the shape of your faces, la forma de sus, de sus caras. Her face is longer than yours. Su, su cara es más larga que la tuya. Yes, but you have the same mouth and the same noses. Tiene las mismas bocas y las mismas narices. I don't think I look like her. No pienso que luzco como ella. She's much slimmer than me. Ella es mucho, mucho más delgada que yo. Maybe, but she isn't any taller. Sí, pero ella no es, no es más, no es más alta. No. Are your personalities the same? So, sus personalidades las mismas? No. We're nothing like each other. Para nada somos la una como la otra. Catherine is much more outgoing than me. Ella es mucho más extrovertida que yo. She has lots of friends. Tiene muchos amigos. And I am quieter. So, más, más callada. I prefer my own company. Prefiero mi propia compañía. She is bossier too. Ella es más mandona también. I suppose. Pose is because she's older than me. Supongo porque que ella es más, por lo que ella es más, es mayor que yo. You must have some things in common. Deben tener algunas cosas en común. Well, we both like music and the countryside and we're both independent. Nos gusta la música y las afueras de la ciudad y somos independientes. I suppose we have those things in common. What about you? Do you have a brother or a sister? Escuchemos. Wait, wait, wait. Is, Is that, that your sister, sister the girl, girl over there? there? Yes, yes, that's, that's my, my sister, sister Catherine. Catherine. How did you know? You look, you look similar. similar. Do you, Do you think, think so? so? Yes. yes, I mean, I mean obviously you have different, different hair. hair. Hers, Hers is blonde, is blonde. Yours, yours is brown. brown. And, and Catherine's isn't is curly, like, like mine. mine. No, but no, your faces are the same. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Her no, eyes are a different colour to mine. Hers, hers are blue, are blue mine, mine are green. green. I'm, not I'm not talking about eye, eye colour. I, mean I mean the shape, shape of your faces. faces. Her, Her face, face is longer, is longer than, than yours, yours. Yes, yes, but, but you, you have, have the same, same mouth. mouth. And, the, and same the same noses. noses. I don't I think I look like her. She's much slimmer than me. Maybe, but she isn't any taller. No. Are your personalities the same? No, no, we're nothing, nothing like, like each, each other. other. Catherine's, Catherine's much, much more, more outgoing, outgoing than me. Than me. She, she has lots of friends. friends. I'm, I'm quieter. quieter. I prefer my, my own company. company. She's, she's bossier, bossier too. too. I suppose it's because, because she's, she's older, older than me. me. You, you must, must have, have some, some things, things in common. In common. Well, well, we, we both, both like, like music in the countryside and we're both independent. I suppose we have those things in common. What about you? Do you have a brother or a sister? Is that your sister, the girl over there? Yes, yes, that's, that's my, my sister, sister Catherine. Catherine. How, How did you know? You look, you look similar. similar. Do you, you think, think so? so? Yes, yes, I mean, I mean obviously, obviously you have different hair. hair. Hers, Hers is blonde, blonde yours, yours is brown. And, and Catherine's isn't curly, curly like, like mine. No, but your faces are the same. I don't think so. Her eyes are a different colour to mine. Hers are blue, mine are green. Yes, I mean... I really have to too late. Bueno, muy Bueno, entonces aquí tenemos varias afirmaciones. Some of them are true, but some others are false. The first one says, María has brown curly hair. María tiene el cabello café, el cabello castaño, y es crespo. Miremos entonces. María says, and Catherine's, y el de Catherine, el cabello de Catherine, isn't curly. No es, el de ella no es crespo como el mío. Es decir que el de ella is curly. So, let's go back and say, is her hair curly? Is su cabello curly? Is su cabello crespo? El de ella no es crespo como el mío. Es decir que el de María es is curly. 
Ya lo vuelvo a poner, Dayan. That means that it is true. Yes, it is true. Maria and Catherine have the same color eyes. Maria y Catherine tienen el mismo color de ojos. Let's see. Maria says, I don't think so. Her eyes are a different color to mine. Hers are blue, mine are green. So, do they have the same color eyes? Tienen el mismo color de ojos? That's right, it is false. Muy bien. Maria's face is longer than Catherine's. La, 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 la cara de Maria es más larga que la de Catherine. Miremos. I am not talking about eye color. No estoy hablando del color de sus ojos. I mean, the shape of your face is la forma de sus caras. Her face, la de Catherine, is longer than yours. La cara de Catherine es más larga que la tuya, la de María. So let's go back. María's face is longer than Catherine's. Is that right? La cara de María es más larga. La de Caterine es más larga que la tuya. So, in this case, it is false. Porque la que es más larga es la de Catherine, no la de María. Catherine's nose and mouth look like María's. La nariz y la boca de de Catherine lucen como las de María. Let's see. Yes, but you have you have the same mouth and the same noses. Sí, pero ustedes tienen las mismas mouths, las mismas bocas y las mismas narices. So, Catherine's nose and mouth look like María's. Lucen como los de María, es decir, que son las mismas. So, muy bien, Álvaro. So that is true. Yes, that's right. That is true. Y hagamos la quinta. Catherine is taller than Maria. Recordemos más alto la terminación er. Más alta que. Más alta que María. Miremos si Catherine es más alta que María. I don't think I look like her. No pienso que luzco como ella. She's much slimmer than me. Maybe, but she isn't any taller. Quizás, pero ella, Caterine, pero ella no es para nada más alta. Ella no es. Hello, teacher. Hi, Alexander. How are you doing? So, can you give me five minutes, please? Yes, of course. Before you finish, yes. Thank you very much. So, let's stop the recording.